Hello, this is Wheat Koopa. I am returning the start of Let's Play of Pokemon Red. <clears throat> An obviously fairly classic Game Boy game. I've played through... Well, I've played through the entire game several times. I've made various attempts to play through it many times over the years. And I think I'm relatively familiar with it, as I'm sure a lot of you are. How is this is a longer bit of a game that's going to take a minute to get through everything here. Alright, let's get started. Uh, we're going to start a new game here. Of course, Professor Oak is there to introduce us to the world of Pokemon. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Alright, so, what are we gonna choose for our name? Hmm, I'm thinking we could go with something. I don't actually have a name picked out as of starting this recording, which is kind of a weird decision, but... Maybe we'll go with something like, uh... Actually, they're all uppercase, because all the letters in this game are uppercase, but let's go with... Lizard. Why does Lizard make sense as a name? Not really too much, but it is the name of a villain in Amazing Spider-Man 1, which is kind of an okay Spider-Man movie, so... Yeah, Sam said that's a Spider-Man villain. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. It's nice that as a baby we were able to get rivals. I didn't really think babies had rivals or much thought of that concept, but, you know. Uh, okay. New name. So we have to give him a name worthy of being our rival. I mean, really, I guess he's kind of a rival. And we have to fight him. So, you know, I think it makes sense for him to just be called a rival. Why not? That's a good name. That's a... Everyone is named Rival. He doesn't need to be called anything besides Rival, because that's all he is. He's just Rival. His name is Rival. Blizzard. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures of Pokemon awaits. Let's go! So I don't really have any sort of team planned out or anything at this point. I think we'll try to wing that as we go along. This isn't going to be a very, uh... Not exactly the most in-depth playthrough of all time. We're going to play through the whole game, but yeah. Mom. Right. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Well, I'm glad she listens to TV. Especially when the TV is just right on the floor up there with, like, no furniture whatsoever underneath it. I mean, who puts a CRT right on the floor? It's just weird. Professor Oak, next door is looking for you. Alright, well if we go outside, the first thing we do is obviously head to the grass. Hey, wait! Don't go out. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your own protection. I know. Here, come with me. Alright, well, let's just follow this man to his Pokemon lab in one of the three buildings in this massive town. I wonder what he's gonna give us. Whoa, starter Pokemon. Who could have guessed? Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Let's go, old man. Rival, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, lizard. There are three Pokemon here. Ha ha ha. They are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I only have three left. 
but you can have one. So he literally only has three Pokemon left. So you think he would have just caught a few and started Pokemon to give out, but apparently he literally just has three and is still gonna be a Pokemon Professor, but is giving away all of them except for one, which doesn't make that much sense. Hey, Gramps, what about me? I like how even though he's his grandson, we're just the favorite, you know? He's just like, shut up, kid. Wait for us to pick our Pokemon. So, I'm sh as I'm sure pretty much everyone knows, the three starters are Bulbasaur, the grass type. Strange Seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. The plant Pokemon Bulbasaur. For the water option, we have Squirtle. The water Pokemon. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. You want the water Pokemon? Squirtle? Nah. Charmander. Obviously prefers hot places when it rains steam is said to spout from the tip of its tail. So yeah, we're gonna be using Charmander for those Let's Play. It's kind of not the best against the first few gyms here, so it's a little bit of a harder start, but I just feel like using Charmander, so we're gonna use Charmander. Should we give a nickname? Uh, what should we name it? I don't know. I guess we could name it, uh... Zeggy. Now, what does Zeggy mean? I don't know. It's just a name. And then he's gonna choose the rival that's opposite of us for Squirtle, because Squirtle's super effective against Charmander. Which is always the case, the rival will always choose the one opposite, you know. Opposite the one you choose. So poor Bulbasaur can be left all alone. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can fight against it. Alright, well, let's battle the rival. Wait, Lizard. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. So this first battle is like the only battle in the game that you can lose and still continue on. It's not a required win. You know, most battles when you lose, you're blackout and have to replay the battle and go back to your last heal. But it's not the case with this one. But there's no elemental moves yet, so it's basically about as basic as you can get. Mostly just use Scratch. Ooh, a critical hit. And tackle miss. Cool. Alright. Let's just keep spamming tack and scratch at this point. Ba 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 da Oh, oh, okay. All status moves when used by an opponent have a relatively decent chance of failing. I don't remember the percentage off the top of my head, but yep. I think if we just keep using Scratch here, we're probably pretty set up to win here, especially since his tail whip keeps failing and he missed the fush tackle. Yep, there we go. Knocked out Squirtle. Get to level 6. Alright, our first level up of the playthrough. Didn't even lose rival 1. Or what? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Wow, whole $175 win. That's pretty good. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Gramps, smell you later. Anyway. Yep, that rival music can be a little bit of a banger of a theme. But yep, before we head out, we'll just heal with our mom here. You should take a quick rest. Because, you know, your mom's the Pokemon Center in the starting town, so... No regular Pokemon Center, but it'll be good. And then... I really love the first route theme, so we can get some nice music here, but yeah, we can get going on up to the next town. Alright. There's actually no trainers to battle in this first route, so... All you can really battle is, uh, you know, regular Pokemon. Oh, we got a first wild Pokemon of the playthrough. Pidgey. 
Nice. Alright, let's send out Zeggy. I feel like we can battle it as our first wild Pokemon, why not? Gus. You gotta love those Gen 1 sprites. Some of them definitely look better than others. Oh man. The back sprites can be a little messed up sometimes. You're just like, what the hell am I looking at? It's a lot of the back sprites. There's not much strategy to these beginning battles here, because you don't really get that many moves, but yeah. When we get to the town up here, the first thing I'm going to do is use a Pokemon Center, so if we die, we'll automatically spawn back here. Pretty cool. We're using the Super Game Boy version of this game, so we got all the... You know, in terms of the limited colors it can have, we at least get some colors, like, you know, Pidgey was brown, and most of this is obviously still not that colorful. But yeah, if we go into the shop here, the guy's gonna have a package. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in, will you take it to him? Lizard got Oak's parcel. Yep. We gotta go back to Pallet Town to deliver the parcel to him. <coughs> Pretty quick delivery overall. I don't know why we have to be a delivery boy on the first route. Just seems a little, a little much. We can use the ledges to kind of skip here, but yeah. Just go down, down, down. Yeah, this guy will uh, give us a potion, I believe. Yep. Get a potion from him. It's nice to have. Oh, something I failed to mention is when you go home, it's actually not a bad idea before the first rival battle to help ensure you don't lose, but you can get a potion from the PC in this game, so you gotta just withdraw the item and it's a good thing to have before you get to that first battle, just if you wanna make sure you win. Nothing too huge, but yeah worth mentioning. Alright, let's go deliver our parcel to Professor Oak. Oh, Lizard! How is my old Pokémon? Seems to like you a lot. Well, yeah, it's done two battles with us. It better likes us. I mean, it's been with us like five minutes now, so... I would assume it likes us. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Lizard delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Wow, that's amazing. Gramps. What did you call me for? Alright, I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention. Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Oh, it's very high-tech. Lizard and Rival, take these with you. Lizard got Pokedex from Oak. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. All 151 of them. There'll never be more added in any game ever. That was my dream, but I'm too old. I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Wizard, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. See, he's so nice. He doesn't need us. Oh, he's gonna get it from his sis and tell us not to lend you one. Ha ha ha. So yeah, the town map is pretty easy to get. Despite what he says, you can go right into his house and get the town map from his sister here. She hands it right over. You see, she likes us better than her brother, I assume. Because otherwise, why would she help us over so listening to her brother? Anyway, we can head back up to the town then. 
and level 6 here. We're not really gonna be a high enough level to face Brock with Charmander at this point. Because Charmander doesn't really have anything that's super effective. And Scratch isn't gonna do much damage. But, yep, yeah, we'll battle a few wild Pokemon. I've probably done this Let's Play. I'm gonna do some leveling off screen. Um, so I'm not going to do all the leveling and grinding on screen. Not that we should hopefully have to do that much grinding, but, you know, we probably will have to when it comes to Brock. I mean, we'll see what level we are by the time we get through the forest and all that. We're already level 7 here, so, you know, that's pretty nice. Let's do a few more battles here before we head up north here. Got a Rattata. I don't think there's any Pokemon in this first area or necessarily catch to add to our team. Ooh. You see, you can get some pretty intense battle against the wild Pokemon up here. Oh, crap. Oh, Tail Whip. What are we gonna do? Yeah. Thinking we'll get to level 8 here and then we'll go up and heal. And that will be the first episode. And then the next episode, we can traverse to Viridian Forest, which is the next area of the game. This shouldn't be too bad. I Viridian Forest is always... I mean, even with a starter here, it's... I mean, the main issue of Charmander at the beginning of the game is going to be Brock and Misty. I like how the music does get all intense here in the battle theme. <laughs> Alright, well, we might do one more battle here to get to level 8. And another Pidgey. Alright. Let's take it on. Once we get a fire move, we'll be able to move through Viridian Forest a lot more quickly than I've just scratched. <laughs> Got a critical hit for that double damage. All right, level eight. All right, let's go here on the Pokemon Center. That classic Pokemon Center theme, right? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that this will be episode one of Pokemon Red. I do hope to actually update this series a lot more over time. I know Metal Slug episode two never really happened at this point. At some point, I do plan to finish that series with episode two. The Pokemon Red series will obviously be a lot longer than two or three episodes because it's a much longer game. Appreciate anyone who's watching. Uh, Feel free to leave any comments or anything you want to. I'll see you guys next time.